The SR-72 is the successor to the S-71 Blackbird, a plane that was able to reach speeds of 3,529 km per hour, or 2,200 miles per hour, and heights of 85,000 feet. The SR-72 aircraft will be the most impressive aircraft on the planet, having state-of-the-art hypersonic technology. Some websites are even reporting that the SR-72 will be able to strike targets anywhere in less than an hour. This 14,500 miles per hour aircraft will be an optionally piloted flight research vehicle, meaning that it will be able to fly without a pilot. Lockheed Martin Executive Vice President and Skunk Works General Manager Rob Wise said the following to Aviation Week, We've been saying that hypersonics are two years away for at least the last 20 years, but all I can say is the technology is mature, and we, along with DARPA and the services, are working hard to get their capability into the hands of our warfighters as soon as possible. End quote. Since this announcement though, various people have claimed that they've seen this craft, causing some to theorise that perhaps it's already flying around in the sky. Mysterious sonic booms have been heard all across the United States, and when this news was announced, some put forward the idea that the United States may have been testing this new hypersonic aircraft, and that this is what people were hearing. Other people across the US have said they've seen stealth-looking aircraft in the sky during the daytime, but notes that they're too high and fast to photograph. Some have claimed that Google Earth has managed to photograph some of these graphs, Google Earth is an incredible tool. Not only does it allow you to view pretty much anywhere in the world, but it's also helps scientists and researchers to study certain areas, along with helping to uncover and solve some mysteries. Going back a while ago though, someone found a mysterious looking aircraft at Palmdale Airport, and as soon as the photographs were uploaded to social media, people were speculating as to whether this was the SR-72. The airport can be found in California, and interestingly this is one of the locations where people have reported seeing mysterious crafts. The aircraft has been described as being silver in colour, and in the shape of a triangle. Most were confused upon first seeing the images, with many saying that they hadn't seen a craft like this before, although some noted that it shared a couple of similarities with crafts like the bomber. Some who saw the images were excited by the idea that this could have been the SR-72, but did question why it would have been left out in the open like this, especially since not much information has been released about it. People though suggested this wasn't the SR-72, but rather an unmanned drone that is used by the United States Navy. In fact, they said this craft is actually the Northrop Grumman X-47A, and X-47B. Although the United States government failed to give an answer for what this craft is, many have gone with the theory that they're drones. Although this may be the case, this hasn't stopped people from theorising that the SR-72 is already flying around in our sky. As mentioned, one of the reasons why people think this is because super fast moving aircrafts have been spotted across the United States. As of right now, the SR-71 Blackbird is said to be the fastest plane that man has ever created, but in recent years this has been questioned. Whispers of Black Project aircrafts have been around for years now, and when you think that the SR-71 was created over 60 years ago, it makes you wonder what we have now. Its replacement is said to be the Aurora. Although it's important to note that the US government has always denied that this aircraft exists. Eyewitnesses, however, have gone against this. Back in 1991, residents located in Southern California heard a series of unusual sonic booms, and interestingly, the United States Geological Survey even picked them up on their sensors. NASA and the Air Force came forward and said that it wasn't their SR 71 as it wasn't operating on the day the booms were picked up on. Former NASA sonic boom expert Don Magaliri, who went on to study the sonic boom data at the California Institute of Technology, 
said that the data showed this craft was at an altitude of around 90,000 feet and was hitting Mach 5. Mach 5 means it was going 6,174 kilometers or 3,836 miles per hour. It's these types of stories that back up the claims that the Aurora project is genuine. We do have photographs of these crafts as well, with some of them being captured during the daytime. It's important to note though that these aircrafts are said to be different from the mysterious black triangles. The two are said to be similar, but the black triangles are said to be much more advanced, with officials and eyewitnesses saying that they're able to travel at tens of thousands of miles per hour, can hover motionless without making a sound, are usually seen hovering above residential areas during the night time, can vanish within seconds, and can easily outmaneuver pilots. Although this cross remains somewhat of a mystery, the United States government is said to have in the possession of our high-tech aircrafts that haven't yet been released to the general public. Reports have come in from California where residents have described hearing loud booms. This has been happening on and off now since 2016. These loud noises were heard in many towns across the United States, including that of Pennsylvania, where residents said that they're so loud it's keeping them up, and that it's even got to the point that authorities got involved. Authorities asked that those who notice anything odd to call the police immediately, and not investigate it on their own. What's strange is that no one seems to be able to identify where the noises are coming from, or what is making them. The majority of people reported that the sounds happened between 1 and 4 a.m. Since the booms have been happening, there's been many theories, but as of today, none of these have been proven. An Oxford researcher has issued a warning about artificial intelligence, saying that it could pose a big problem for humanity. In a recent report, they said that the actions of AI could end humanity within the next few decades, and said the test showed that it doesn't end well for us if we don't step in and start changing things. They've said that bioweapons and rogue Skynet-style computers pose the biggest threat. The team from Oxford University's Future of Humanity Institute has asked the government to do something about this, in details that if nothing is done and we continue down this path, it could lead to our extinction. They've said that although governments and officials' attention is on everything that's happening right now, we need to start thinking about the future of artificial intelligence, and how it's very likely that within the near future it could take over. Researchers of the study said the following, While the scale of national tragedy is alive in our minds, the governments must seize this opportunity, Westminster must ensure that we're better prepared for the next event that will likely devastate our lives and economies on a global scale. The risks they're talking about include things that could lead to the premature extinction of humanity. Some that featured in the study were that of nuclear attacks and lab leaks, something that at the moment is being featured a lot in the mainstream media. Others that featured down the list included that of cyber attacks on UK infrastructure, and solar storms. Researchers have said that although many people don't think about it, our sun could easily wipe life off our planet, with solar scientists saying that within the next few billion years our planets will be eaten by our sun. The paper said there's a 1 in 6 chance that one of these will devastate life on planet Earth. Author Dr. Toby Ord said that rogue artificial intelligence was one of the main threats saying that artificial intelligence needs to be taken more seriously by officials, and also researchers and scientists. He went on to say the following, There's a dramatic progress in artificial intelligence at the moment, and it's increasing as we speak. Many scientists within artificial intelligence believe that within the next few decades, we'll reach a point where AI ability surpasses human level but there are problems that we have to be concerned about before that point, and different kinds of problems after. It would be very dangerous to include artificial intelligence systems inside our nuclear commands, and also control and communication systems. 
we need to take it seriously and understand that there is a possibility that things could go wrong. Nick Bostrom is someone who's been quite vocal about artificial intelligence and how it could affect humans as well as the overall planet. He said the following, You could have a superintelligence whose only goal is to make as many paperclips as possible, and you get this bubble of paperclips spreading through the universe. I think that would be a low-value future. With others saying that this superintelligence could break free, and that's where the problems start. One of the issues that's been detailed by researchers is that even artificial intelligence that uses machine learning or deep learning algorithms, no matter how in-depth these are, they won't be able to acquire human traits like empathy or sensitivity, meaning that although their decision may be good in the short term, they may end up doing something that could cause a lot of harm. Stephen Hawking often talked about artificial intelligence and how it could affect us, the potential threat of technology is one that Hawking did not ignore. The fantasy that humans may be able to create such a powerful device, or rather entities, is no longer fiction, but rather a not too distant reality, drawing closer and closer each day. In a 2017 interview with The Times, Hawking made comments that a world government of some description would ensure that there were regulations. He expressed a belief that the innate aggressions that humans biologically have poses a threat of conflict with technology, and that a world government would be theoretically successful in monitoring that, and so preventing threats of nuclear or biological war. On the other hand, Hawking had considered the possible political implications of a world government in acknowledging the opportunity for corruption and tyranny within this potential system and the possibility that it may create more issues than it solves. The threats and dangers posed to us come in the form of our own instinctive human aggression, which Hawking credits to Darwin's theory of evolution. Our logic and reason can be overshadowed by aggression, initially purposeful in survival, but creates a sense of impulsivity that must be regulated. Developments in technology also facilitate the advancements of artificial intelligence that may become too independent from us all. AI that may develop enough power to kill or harm us of course presents physical danger, though Hawking suggests that the problem is not if they become evil or malicious, but instead if they become too successful. If an AI has goals, it will to the best of its ability achieve them and so the issues arise when the goals of artificial intelligence and ours fail to coordinate, or as said by Stephen Hawking himself, a super-intelligent AI will be extremely good at accomplishing its goals, and if those goals are not aligned with ours, we're in trouble. This cautious attitude regarding artificial intelligence isn't one that Dr. Hawking is alone in holding. Other notable figures within the field such as Elon Musk shares similar reservations when it comes to the ability of us versus artificial intelligence, as they view it as a potential risk. The risk of technology outperforming us is increasingly present, and not one we can ignore, and perhaps in a more ideal world the proposition of a world government would see the obvious choice, but with the cruel and corrupt potential it brings, we have to ask, do we think one individual can cope with so much influence? Although various different researchers and scientists have said we shouldn't be worried about artificial intelligence, or even superintelligence, other researchers have said that there's been subtle signs, and that they shouldn't be ignored. Although some researchers have said it's already too late, and that we must now accept our fate, so what do you make of artificial intelligence? Do you think we've left it too late? Or do you think we need to step in and start using artificial intelligence less? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.